Bloomberg Audio Studios. Podcasts, radio, news. Single best idea. And what's so interesting about the guests from guest to guest to guest is to pay attention to their lineage, their background, how they became notorious or famous or both. Today is a tour de force. It is two moments with James Glassman. First of all, there's two James Glassman. It's wicked confusing. There's James Glassman, wonderful academic, on Dow 36,000 in the uproar uh, uh, years ago with a wonderful book. This is a different Jim Glassman. This is Jim Glassman, who was legendary at J.P. Morgan. Like a lot of retired economists, he's like pseudo-fake retired. He delivered a 49-page PowerPoint for uh, his retired interview. But Jim Glassman today, and the first idea here is really important. Dr. Glassman came out of Northwestern in the crucible of the combine of freshwater economics with Robert Gordon. He's always had a huge, huge respect for what we can't see in the labor market. Here is Jim Glassman on your 2026, 2030 technology. You would think that if labor markets are so tight and you got people retiring, uh, and you would think the wind would be at the back of the labor sector, but in fact, the share of income going to them has come down from before the pandemic and really has been coming down for the last 25 years. And I think that tells you something really important about the dynamic that's playing out. It's all about technology and the and yeah. the changes in the US economy. And it, it exposes a real weakness in the thought process in the economics community about the role of labor. We, we, we sort of grew out of, came out of school with this idea that if labor markets are tight, that can be inflationary. But when you see what's going on and you think about all the changes going on in the economy, how competitive it's become, what's going on with technology, it's becoming more clear to me that we got this story backwards. It's really wages don't drive prices. It's more that prices are driving wages. And that picture tells you that if you worry about tight labor markets, tight labor markets are not inflationary if the share of the pie going to workers yeah. is not really down. Textbook Jim Glassman. Can't say enough about that in the opposite there, if you will, the price theory or the micro microeconomics, the dynamics of labor. Is it rising wages affect prices or is it rising prices affect wages? It's just some food for thought. You can pick up any labor economics textbook and your eyes will glaze over by page 25 over the ambiguities and the dynamics of each part of the of the labor economy. It speaks to what Mike McKee does every day. Don't take for granted the complexity that Mike McKee has to uh, deal with in driving all of our labor force uh, coverage. Here now, in short and sweet, Jim Glassman on the Fed. None of us really knows where the neutral rate of the, of the Fed funds rate is. My guess is it's around, the terminal rate's around 3%. <laughs> if you ask most Fed people, I'll bet most of them will tell you that's where we should be in the long run, now that this inflation scare has really kind of disappeared. Right. When you get the kind of data we're getting, it tells you there's no big rush to get there. But the really the debate about the Fed is not about today's economy or today's labor market. It's about where do you think they should be in the long right. run if they don't want to do trouble for the economy. Jim Glassman, formerly with J.P. Morgan, just a tour de force uh, effort by him today on this odd labor economy. And we make note the ginormous number with revisions that we saw on Friday and how it shifted here will shift into this week. The other part this week will be earnings with J.P. Morgan on Friday. It'll be good to hear Lisa Abramowitz with James Diamond. I believe we do that uh, tomorrow. We're out on YouTube. Subscribe to Bloomberg Podcast. It's simple. You got to commute. And then in the living room, in the office, wherever you are, YouTube is the best way to get our best in conversation on economics, finance, investment, on international politics. Oh, yes, there's an election. And, of course, on your commute, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, on Sirius XM. Thank you for listening there in uh, 99.1 FM in Washington, all the way up to 92.9 FM in Boston. We're on Apple Podcasts. We're on YouTube Podcasts. Single best idea.